All right, good morning, guys. We are gonna start right away today with some stretches um, that are gonna help you if you are doing a lot of outside work. <laughs> so I've got some clients right now that um, are bending over, doing weeding and mulch and planting and mowing and all kinds of things. And uh, you, what ends up happening is you get lots of shortness and through the front side of the body and lots of long, weak muscles in the back. So we're gonna open these up quite a bit and we're gonna actually strengthen some of the lower back muscles and um, just lengthen out those hips a little bit. So we're gonna start with the head because you always have to start with the neck because what's happening in the neck is gonna show up in your lower back. So go ahead and sit on your ball or sit on the mat if you want. I just, it's kind of nice to sit on the ball because you have a little bit of give, you have a little bit of um, bounce, which can provide some relief for your lower back. Um, it's it's also really soothing. You know, you think about kids when they're little and you take them for a ride in the car to relax them. It's that bump, bump, bump that really kind of soothes the nervous system. So uh, go ahead and sit with me on top of that ball feet about hip distance apart, hands right here, turn them up, and then just look up to the ceiling, inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your chin down towards the body. Good, and then as you inhale, look up. And then exhale, bring it down towards the body. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, bring it down. Go ahead and just roll your head to whatever side feels like you need a little bit more of a stretch. Yeah, and then stay there and breathe as we move around, allowing those muscles in the neck and underneath the scapula to unwind. Stretching through the front of the neck and the side. And then bring it over to the other side. And again, you might not need as much on the other side, but find where you do need it. Stretch through the neck, the back. And then one more time, whichever side needs more or do both, kind of rotate between them if you want. Moving in and out of the stretch, okay? Right here. So I don't want you to just hold it today. I want you to kind of move in and then you can slowly move out. Bring it back up to center and then take your ball and come down to the floor and we're going to start with the pec major first okay so not the little one the pec minor but the pec major by taking that arm on the ball hand other hand is directly underneath the shoulder inhale with me here the further out that it is the more stress it is on the shoulder so if you need to be here that's okay so inhale and then exhale and come straight down. Now, if you want more, which a lot of us are gonna need more, you're gonna to look to the other side. And then bring yourself up and take that whole arm on the ball right here. And again, just the shoulder and maybe the just the top of the bicep is hanging off. Same thing. If you're really tight, you're just going to come straight down. If you need more, you can look to the other side or even look back a little bit and you'll feel that stretch. You feel those muscles under the shoulder blade also shorten up a little bit, which should feel good if you've been bending over a lot.
and then release. And let's do the other side, right here. Same thing on all fours, hand is extended. Start with that pec major here, inhale, and then exhale and gently drop down. So you can either be here or here. Yeah. Oh. I would say, oh, seven out of 10 clients that I meet with need these stretches. The old, my older clients, which is most of my clients over 40, I would say, or over 50 usually, um, the chest muscles need stretching. Nice job, you guys. And then go ahead and bring that hand in right here, just the shoulders hanging off. The, uh, the more water you drink and, and assimilate, the uh, more pliable your tissues will be and the more, um, the easier it'll be to stretch. If you're dehydrated, it's gonna be very painful to stretch. Beautiful job, release. Now this next one, we've done this before. You can either be on your knee, which is gonna be a little bit easier, okay? And you're just gonna lay over the ball like this and then stretch that side body out. Yep, and if you need a little bit more in terms of intensity, you can be with your foot here and then you're placing your hip here. It's a, it's a lot more stability for the core but you get a bigger stretch. So it's up to you. This one can be kind of tricky for, for people to get into, because you do, you have to use your core to get into it, yeah. Nice. But it feels really good. So uh, obliques oftentimes can get kind of riled up if we're bending over a lot and uh, lengthening out those lower back muscles. So even if you're sitting a lot during the day, You'll find this one to be really relaxing. Oh. And again, you can kind of roll around to get from the front of the obliques to the side, all the way to, the, to opening up underneath the rib cage here and, the, and closing down the lower back. Oh. And release. Nice work. And let's switch over to the other side. So remember, you can be on that knee, which is much easier, okay? You got a lot more stability right here, but I want you to be able to rest your head so you're not holding it up at all. Yep, like that. So it might be easier to rest your head here, or you can be here. Yeah, bigger stretch for sure. All right, beautiful job. This next one, you're actually going to feet wide, wide, okay? Your lower back is on the ball like this. And then I just want you to drop your head back. This is gonna open up the chest, the shoulders, all the way through the abdominal wall into the lower abdominals and the pelvis. For some of us, this will be plenty. If you want more, push back, or you can open those arms up or bow. It's a big stretch. And if you're getting dizzy at all, don't do it. Come back to where we started.
And then slowly bend your knees, bring your hands in, bring them to your hips, and walk yourself back up. Okay, lay on your back with me. Right here. And put your legs on top of the ball. Yep. This one, palms are up. And the closer the ball is, the more support you're gonna have for your lower back. And all I want you to do is take it side to side. This is an easy one. I have uh, my clients experience a lot of anxiety do this one because it, it helps relax um, the nervous system and bring the heart rate down. Yep. Or some of the my clients who are just starting out strengthening the muscles in the core. If you want a little bit more, you can always bring just the feet on top and take it a little bit further. Side to side, you feel that stretch in that lower back. Try to keep your shoulders down if you can as you roll. Keep one leg on top of the ball, just hold it there. And then take the other leg right here and support and pull it straight in like this, yep. So I just want you to pull that knee straight and make sure it's not turning out straight to the chest and then extend, yes, yeah, so you feel that stretch. And if, you, if this feels like it's enough, you can just kind of play with it by pointing and flexing the foot or you could come up here and pull back. It's totally up to you. So, Ah, oh, yeah. Some of us can pull up here. It just depends on, on how much stretching you've done in your life and how flexible you are naturally. Again, small little movements right here are going to release that hamstring a little bit more. You're gonna bend that knee and then you're gonna pull it out to the side. Opposite arm is down. You can also grab in here if you want to stretch or you can extend it out here if you want. Oh. Again, don't worry about that other hip that might be off the ground, that's okay. Or not. bring it in and let's switch it so other leg is on top right other knee is up here grab hamstring knee comes straight to the body beautiful and stretch through that hamstring relax the neck and the shoulders as much as you possibly can nice slide those hands up a little bit higher for a more intense stretch So now, if you are a um, coffee person like I am, uh, remember uh, coffee is a diuretic and it does not count in your water intake. <laughs> in fact, if you're drinking coffee, you're, for every eight ounces of coffee, you're gonna need at least 12 ounces to 16 ounces of water, depending on how uh, fast you uh, use, use water. So that's part of this too. If you've had coffee in the morning and no water, you might be feeling even stiffer. Go grab some water. If you're bored with water, put some lemon or lime in it. I did that last night. I, you know, did something different. Put it in a really pretty glass, filled it with ice, which I normally don't do. Squeeze some lemon in, and then I put lemon slices in it. It was so good, so refreshing. And it just made it feel like more of a drink instead of just water. Think about it. You know, you go to a spa, what do they do? Cucumber, basil, you know, just, it's easy. All right, guys, go ahead and take that leg out to the side. Opposite arm is down. You can either grab in through here like this or the foot if you want.
Go ahead and bring that leg in right here. Once again, legs on top of the ball, hands just below the shoulders and take it side to side, release. All right, go ahead and take that ball, push it out of the way. Hopefully it'll stay. There we go. Take those knees over to one side and open up from um, the uh, chest and shoulder all the way down through the side body, through the hips, right here. Deep breath with me, inhale, exhale as you relax. Pull those knees up and over to the other side. Yep, and open, opposite arm is reaching, palm is up, extend that leg. Feel that stretch all the way through your chest, shoulder, hip. And again, just breathe. over onto your belly. Go this way, you can see better. Okay, onto your belly. Now, if you're on your belly and your lower back is really not having it, which is cannot, if you've been doing a lot of yard work, you're just gonna stay here on your elbows and you're just gonna kind of release the hips. Just take them side to side. Beautiful, that's it. Yep, relax, release. Keep it going, guys. Pull you a little bit closer sunshine today. Here we go. Okay. So <sighs> these muscles, sometimes if you've been sitting a while or you've been outside, you get up and you can't really straighten up. Well, I'm going to show you how to remedy that. You're going to literally come over onto your back. This is going to be the best thing you can do if your lower back is feeling that way and you don't have any SI joint dysfunction, which you wouldn't know if you can, until you got assessed. But you're going to take those elbows in right here next to your rib cage, you're gonna look straight down. Inhale, and then as you exhale, push up. Now that push might be here. If you, if some of us can go a little further, it doesn't matter. It just depends on you and what feels best. And your head is in a neutral position. Yep. So some of us are gonna feel better right here, guys. So I have a huge arch in my back, I always have. So this feels better for me. release it and walk your right arm in. Take your left arm across and now you're gonna close down that right side a little bit and stretch through the left side. Yeah, beautiful. And again, you might need to play with it to stretch. Some of you might need that. You're gonna notice this more when you stand up than when you're down here in terms of how much better you feel and how much better your posture is. Uh, Nice, let's do the other side. Take the left arm in, so the elbow's right next to the rib cage. Right arm is around in front, and then lift up. And again, stretch it out. And then bring yourself back around right here and bring yourself up onto all fours. Bring your knees together. 
and take your hands right underneath your shoulders and take it side to side. So as you do this, I'm hopeful that your hips are actually not too tight from what we just did. If they still are, stay there like this side's always harder for me. I just kind of bounce into it. That makes a difference. Bring your knees underneath your hips right here. You've got a tabletop position. And go right ahead and take your right hand and extend it out and your left leg back. So it's just a fascia tissue stretch. And I want you to flex your foot and reach. And also look straight down, thumb up, reach, and then bring it in. Let's do the other side. Same thing, thumb up, 45 degrees with that arm. Other foot is back, reach, beautiful. Just push through that heel, feel that stretch in the calf maybe. Nice, and then go right ahead and take yourself here, tuck your toes under and move up into an upward, or a, I'm sorry, a upside down V is what I'm gonna call this. No longer doing yoga or using yoga terms. So it's an upside down V right here. You can allow your uh, heels to come down to the mat or you can walk it out if you want. Good. Walk your feet towards your towards the middle of the mat, keep them wide and just fold with me right here. Just fold and unwind, feel those hands drop to the ground. You can grab your elbows if you'd like. You can take it side to side, breathe. There you, go. you can come up with me and then exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release, side to side. Relax those hands down. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead, walk yourself back down onto your knees right here. <laughs> Good. Good. And then sit nice and tall. Take one arm overhead. Give yourself a nice, easy side body stretch. Looking straight ahead. Open it up. Beautiful. Now, as you come up, you're gonna reach it back and you're just gonna lift the other side straight up. Yeah. And then bring yourself over right here, other side, reach it over, right overhead, looking straight ahead. Nice. Nice, sweetie. Hello, Kazi. And then bring that hand back and then reach it up. Stretch underneath that rib cage. Bring yourself back to center. Give yourself a nice deep breath up. Inhale. Exhale it out. Let's do it one more time together. Inhale. Exhale it out. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Thank you for being flexible. I am going to label this video. Um, uh, basically like stretches for when you're doing outdoor work. So it'll be easy to find on the platform. Um, hopefully you guys feel better. Take care and I will see you on Friday for strength.